Greetings! Uh, welcome to this latest edition of At The Pictures with this guy here. Chas Scorsese. And me, Jimmy the Parma. And we have just come back from seeing Black, Black Adam. Adam. Black Adam, Black Adam, dun dun dun, Black Adam. Chaz, you liked Black Adam, didn't you? Yeah, it still was. I, um, I liked it, but all I've got to say, it's fairly blatant. They're trying, they're copying um, Marvel. It's like that. It's nonsense, but I like it. Basically, they're called the Justice Team. Uh, society. Justice Society. I got Justice one right. Justice League. Justice, just us watching it. Just us in the cinema. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, so, yeah, ju- Justice League, uh, Justice Society, Justice League. It's uh, so honestly, <laughs> they're just, they're copying from the own <laughs> universe. And there's a character in it, played by Pierce Brosnan, who for all intents and purposes is basically Doctor Strange. And, but well, what, what did you call him, Shaz? In my opinion, he's Doctor Mange. Doctor Mange? <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Mange. I'm Doctor Mange. <laughs> we don't actually know what his name is. He says at one point his name's Doctor Fate. You can call me Doctor Fate. But at least he doesn't sing, which he did in Mamma Mia and ruined that whole film. But, uh, aye, so, but you, I mean, all the characters you yeah, like, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's... We'll get to Black are, Adam in a minute. Yeah, it's just whipping off, saying all the things, but it's whipping off. It's whipping off Ant-Man. Oh, the big boy. The Smasher. Big, Smasher. Right, at least Ant-Man's a memorable name. Aye. But, couldn't you, can do you at least get a better name than Smasher? And the fonts, the fonts is, uh, uh, what do you call it, the guy for Happy Days years ago, folk are old enough, the fonts is his dad in it, he makes a wee cameo on his, his phone. Uh, that's one His of the, uncle. It was his uncle, uncle. sorry it wasn't his dad, it was his uncle who lent him the big suit. It's the guy who can like, basically, I don't even know if Smasher was his name. Sure was it Smasher? There's two in it, two youngins in it, right? There's Hawkman, who's, or Hawk, or whatever he was, Crowboy, uh, who, he's got a stupid helmet with a wee nose on it. it looks it's stupid. basically like... Is he I, meant to be like the guy who ate Marvel Falcon? I wouldn't actually say that because... Hawkman was, I'm pretty sure, was a person in the original DC. I don't, I'm not sure about All the right. two other ones. Alright, well... Hawkman and uh, Pierce Brosnan's Doctor Fate, or whatever his blooming name was, with his helmet and all his magic tricks, they were the two that I thought should have been in it. Alright, but then they bring these two younger characters in. Cyclone, whose uh, main power is to like make wind. <laughs> well, I've got that power, I've had that power for some years. Uh, you can make wind, but it's like colourful wind. Uh, and Smasher, we think his name's Smasher, who just basically grows big. It's basically but, that and, and he's a, the DC ah, And he's a klutz, he knocks over statues and everything like that, and he eats snacks. There's no, they could have been written out of it and nobody would have missed them. Especially, and there's a bit in it, I'm sure of this, I'm not spoiling it for MD, but Cyclone, when she first comes into it, it's got an English accent, so I'm cycling, uh, English. and then it morphs into an American accent, like two, three quarters of the way through the film, she's talking American. She literally, she literally said, I can't, uh, I'm done with this British accent, now I'm going to speak American. Yeah, that's right, those accents were spot on, Chaz. And, uh, well, we should get to the main man himself, shouldn't we? Black but, Adam. Um, and he's impressive. The Rock... It's obviously uh, a big fan of this. I've never heard it. It's like a dark Shazam in it. It's uh, yeah. Shazam. He even says Shazam. Shazam. He's got a spark on his chest. He's basically indestructible. Yeah. Uh, he's like Superman, but he's, he's yeah. got problems. He's like, he basically just wanting uh, 
it's just it's a movie character suits obviously, yeah. but I feel like Vin Diesel he was, was busy. probably the only cat the own one of the only characters that made the film watchable. Ah, because, and there was funny bits in it. Because he was For some reason they think it's it's kinda of a novelty to have a superhero that kills folk, but there's been superheroes that kill people all the time. I mean I'm sure Batman takes lives, the Punisher takes light. Uh, it's like they're going, oh, he's a superhero, he's got an edge. What was it's the edge? He kills people. That's, but I'm pretty sure. What about, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hawkeye killed people. Aye, with Zara. <laughs> anyway, that is, that's no importance. <laughs> right, superhero rule here. So you apparently, uh, you can't uh, just... Uh, so you can't even touch, uh, you can't even hurt a single human or you're deemed a villain, but you can commit genocide to alien races, and that's fine. That's fine, Captain Kirk did that every week, but uh, what, uh, I mean, the, 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 there's a bit in it for uh, YouTube fans or whatever, or Dungeons and Dragons fans, or on, on game, uh, online gamer fans, there's a guy, look it up if you don't know it, there's a guy, Leroy Jenkins, who is really famous on yeah. YouTube and there's a really famous Colonel Dungeons and Queen. Dungeons and Dragons clip. Uh, and I there's think, a Leroy Jenkins I moment. I Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, something, it's like they all, they're all wizards and that and they all go in they to fight in a, a final battle and they're all uh, going out through their plan. strategy and Leroy Jenkins just goes, Leroy! Jenkins and goes in and fights them all and they all get killed. Well, there's a moment like this in the film where the Hawkeye or Hawkman or Hawk the Bulk is uh, going through all the strategies, how they're going to break in and save this kid. Uh, and he's saying, we have to go there, we have to go, we can't be seen. We're... And then they look round and Black Adam's at the window. <laughs> or you can do it this way. So that's like a, I think that's got to be a nod, a nod to Leroy Jenkins. I might be wrong, but... It's, it's more, I think it's more for us the like story building to show his attitude. Oh, his his attitude is just basically he will fight what and he kill. Wants. He does what he wants. He's a god. He fights and he kills. And that's the other thing that freak me. Does it freak you? Chaz, the scrawny rock guy. It was like they had to show him when he didn't have his powers and he was all scrawny. Yeah, it's like it's like. It's like instead of eating like fifty pancakes per day, uh, he, on, he only ate one piece of spinach. Yeah, per day. it's funny seeing him with a neck, but anyway, you know, not no just a big body and a head. But I so uh, I mean, that's good. It's good points. It's bad points. I'd say it's a wee bit uneven. Uh, it's maybe like a pound stretcher version of the Avengers. You know, if you went, the Avengers is like maybe Marks and Spencers. And uh, you're going to do it's pound stretchers for this one, I think. It's a wee bit cut price, this one. Yeah. But, uh, well, we'll get to the marks, Chaz. Yep. And we're back. And I'm going to give this a two out of five because there was good bits in it. And there was quite funny bits that I, I liked and la laughed at uh, in it. But uh, I, I wouldn't watch it again, really. But what about you, Chaz? After thinking about it, I was originally going to give it a four, but now I'm giving it a three. It's, it's the fact that it's amazing film, everything's amazing. It's the budget's perfect, all like the special effects look realistic. It's just the fact that those nonsense characters, oh. unnecessary characters. It just, uh, I mean... And it's like... Oh, Marvel's doing popular, which they're trying to make a comeback after four, but I don't think four. I think four was the killing point. No, well, I'm going to have to say this again. I'm sorry. Marvel died the day they killed Tony Stark off. When they killed Tony, Marvel ceased to exist. Anyway, right? Okay. So we've done our marks. Uh, I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. 3, oh, I'm 2. So that's 5 out of 10. So that's yes. no bad. That's half marks there for The Rock. But uh, Black Adam 2? Will he meet the new supervillain Blue Blue Tam? No, I think what's going to happen is um, 
I threw Bear Boss in Shazam, Mason Murphy. Shazam! I like that one. Eh? That's a really good one. But I threw Bear Boss in at a lend at um, Black Adams in his school lunch hall. Is he? Yeah, and it's as. Uh, He's yeah. not going to fight Shazam, is he? I think it might be either Shazam 2 or Black Adam 2. That's, that's what. If they just get rid of the Justice League completely and just get like Black Adam uh. versus. Shazam, that would be so yeah. much better. If it just be, if you had just got Black Adam in it, helping the the family that helps in the film, the boy and his mum and the, the the his uncle, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? I mean, but they had to drag in the team and the jet coming in. Maybe, maybe if it was just Hawkman or and. It would be Doctor a bit Fate. less acceptable, but yeah. still acceptable if that Doctor Man was in there. But uh, there was a couple of unnecessary characters. Yeah. Uh, they are. Yeah. Um, but so, and but uh, more I'm talking about this, I like rambling. Um, yeah, anyway, more, that's us, isn't it? That us now. <laughs> right. Till the next time. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.